This is Pet Practice Test Part One. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Before we start, here is an example. What's the time? Have you got the time? Yes, it's twenty past three. The first picture is correct, so there is a tick in box A. Look at the three pictures for question one now. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. How did the film end? And in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go round the world together. But he gets caught outside the bank, and their dream never comes true. Now listen again. And in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go round the world together. But he gets caught outside the bank, and their dream never comes true. Two. What time does the train to Rome leave? Excuse me. What time does this train leave? This train leaves for Paris at five to three. Paris? Isn't it the Rome train? No, that goes at twenty-five past three from platform four. Now listen again. Excuse me, what time does this train leave? This train leaves for Paris at five to three. Paris? Isn't it the Rome train? No, that goes at twenty-five past three from platform four. Three. What is broken? I'm terribly sorry, Mum. I've just broken something. Oh dear! What was it? Well, I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone, and knocked one of your plates onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Now listen again. I'm terribly sorry, Mum. I've just broken something. Oh dear! What was it? Well. I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone, and knocked one of your plates onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Four. Where are the man's shoes? Have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. Not any more. They're by the door with the other rubbish. I've been tidying the flat. Well, the living room looks very nice, but you're not throwing my old shoes away, all the same. Now listen again. Have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. Not any more. They're by the door with the other rubbish. I've been tidying the flat. Well, the living room looks very nice, but you're not throwing my old shoes away, all the same. Five. What will Paul get at the shop? Right now, what do we need for this sauce so Paul can get it for me? Let me see: onions, tomatoes, one red pepper, mushrooms, and two carrots. So, what have I got? Onions. I've always got those. Tomatoes. Yes. Red pepper. No. I'll need one of those. I've got mushrooms. Oh dear. No carrots. Paul, could you go to the shop for me, please?
Now listen again. Right, now what do we need for this sauce so Paul can get it for me? Let me see. Onions, tomatoes, one red pepper, mushrooms and two carrots. So, what have I got? Onions, I've always got those. Tomatoes, yes. Red pepper, no, I'll need one of those. I've got mushrooms. Oh, dear, no carrots. Paul, could you go to the shop for me, please? That is the end of part one. Good morning. This morning on holiday time, I want to tell you about the cycling trip I took recently to Northumberland in the north of England. Before I went, I read a book by Peter Green, whose title is Cycling Around Northumberland, which I found really useful when planning my route. Northumberland is a beautiful area of England and perfect for cycling. There is very little traffic on the roads and plenty to see and do. For example, why not visit a castle? More of them are open to the public here than in any other part of the country. While I was there, I actually stayed in a flat in a castle, but there are many hotels, cottages or bed and breakfast places to choose from. In the summer, it is important to book in advance, but I recommend going in the spring, as it is not so difficult to find somewhere to stay at that time of the year. You will find that some places are closed in winter. Most of the small towns in the area have cycling centres where you can hire a bicycle. A week's hire will cost £35, two weeks will be £55. There is also a deposit of £50 which you get back when you return the bicycle. Try to plan your holiday when there is a local event or festival happening. I went in June and was lucky enough to go to a festival of local food. Every August there's an international festival of music, but you'll find something going on in almost every month of the year. Ring the Northumberland National Park if you're interested in finding out about their activities. They have a program of guided walks, photography and bird watching. Ring them on double eight double o four six. Now listen again. Good morning. This morning on holiday time, I want to tell you about the cycling trip I took recently to Northumberland in the north of England. Before I went, I read a book by Peter Green, whose title is Cycling Around Northumberland, which I found really useful when planning my route. Northumberland is a beautiful area of England and perfect for cycling. There is very little traffic on the roads and plenty to see and do. For example, why not visit a castle? More of them are open to the public here than in any other part of the country. While I was there, I actually stayed in a flat in a castle, but there are many hotels, cottages or bed and breakfast places to choose from. In the summer, it is important to book in advance, but I recommend going in the spring as it is not so difficult to find somewhere to stay at that time of the year. You will find that some places are closed in winter. Most of the small towns in the area have cycling centres where you can hire a bicycle. A week's hire will cost £35, two weeks will be £55. There is also a deposit of £50 which you get back when you return the bicycle. Try to plan your holiday when there is a local event or festival happening. I went in June and was lucky enough to go to a festival of local food. Every August there's an international festival of music, but you'll find something going on in almost every month of the year. Ring the Northumberland National Park if you're interested in finding out about their activities. They have a programme of guided walks, photography and bird watching. Ring them on double eight double o four six. That is the end of part three.